All right, let's do the trades first. We'll do the one that just occurred. Not finalized yet, but it sounds like four prospects, a couple of pitchers, and a couple of catchers are going to Tampa for Blake Snell. He, of course, has years left on his contract. Everybody had mentioned this in the last, uh, you know, three, four weeks uh, that Snell was available. Obviously, Tampa's got to regroup. We'll get to them in a second. Uh, from a financial standpoint, the Rays, always issues. We'll have a conversation. Meanwhile, San Diego is in a situation where the Padres did a smart thing here. They've made uh, lots of these big trades. We all know as far as their uh, resources are concerned with money is good. They got a good farm system. They've used that to their uh, advantage. They obviously made the trade to get Clevenger. Now, that hasn't worked out because of the Tommy John, but still there. Uh, they have made a lot of moves here in the last whatever it might be uh, to be in a competitive scenario in a very difficult division. Paid off last year, of course, with a postseason appearance. A win over the Cardinals. Uh, they had the Dodgers in front of them, which will not be easy. But the Padres don't seem to be backing down. They got, obviously, some pitching. They have a pretty good offensive team. They got a good everyday lineup. I mean, the manager did a nice job. The Padres are here. They're ready to play. They have lots of guys in this farm system. They didn't trade their best prospect away. Uh, Snell, of course, in the National League, that's a plus. I mean, that poor park in San Diego, probably a plus. Uh, he knows it. That helps, too. Uh, I think it's a good move for him personally. Uh, I think it's a good move for San Diego. Tough to argue. Now, is Snell a great pitcher like he was, say, a couple of years ago when he won a Cy Young? No, uh, I don't think he's come off a little bit in the last couple of years. Game six against the Dodgers notwithstanding. But I think he will help that uh, ball club uh, immeasurably. it would be a big factor in that rotation. Uh, down the road, he signs. So when they get Clevenger, if he returns, I mean, they have the makings of a pretty good ball club there. Uh, in San Diego, of course, still with some pitchers in the farm system. So good job overall by the Padres. It's an aggressive move, and it's a move they have made a lot recently, and it's worked out. I like this one here, too. So good job uh, from a San Diego perspective. Now, as far as Tampa goes, uh, I listen, I have tremendous faith in that front office. I mean, Andrew Friedman came from that front office. Bloom came from that front office. They have a good owner. No argument whatsoever. Uh, but the issue with Tampa is... I mean, it's difficult to go to a World Series, albeit in a short year, and then all of a sudden unload everybody before the next year begins and expect to have some sort of continuity with your fan base. And yes, I know the fan base there in Tampa isn't very good, but Morton goes. He, of course, goes to Atlanta. They didn't want to pay him. Understood. But, I mean, eventually you keep on, you know, basically spinning wheels here. you wonder here of where this franchise is going long term. If you can't keep Snell on your team, and he's not making an incredible amount of money. And then, of course, Kiermaier might go next. And I understand the front office is excellent. And they will do their best to, you know, replenish and stay competitive. We give them all sorts of credit. But fans go to the games for the players. And they want to have an association with their guys they're rooting for on the field. And in Tampa, you can't do that because every year it changes based on the economics. They didn't get the revenue sharing, so now they got to unload guys. I mean, uh, eventually you got to get off the you got to get off the cycle, uh, off the treadmill, and you got to sit there and say, "This is our team for the foreseeable future. Let's see what we can do with it." And Tampa, year in and year out, uh, has to make moves. It does. It, it, it is concerning. Uh, so you can't argue it. It's very concerning. Now listen. The front office does a superb job, and I have complete faith that what they did here, from a trade perspective, they replenished, and they will do okay. But again, you know, who knows on these prospects? You couldn't pick out these prospects out of a lineup. I couldn't. Nobody can. And nobody's seen them play. You know, reports, what's that mean? Wait, somebody make the trip to the San Diego AAA place this uh, last, not this year, the year before, to see how these guys, nobody did. So, I mean, you're buying here on faith and you know that does concern you so that's the one move from that standpoint uh this week that you know san diego good tampa you trust the front office but still